digital marketing misfits. They said the same thing. They said the same thing about the internet too. Mm. Those of you who are old enough to remember in like the 80s and 90s, like they said that the internet was like going to be terrible for the education system. And, you know, because people now had free access instead of having like an encyclopedia, uh, encyclo whatever you call it, the, uh, yeah, yeah. Encyclopedia Britannica or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah. All know, the books on the shelf. All the books on the shelf. So instead of going there and trying to like sift through to find information or whatever, or world history, now you could just go to a computer and you could find it in seconds with Google. So they're they're saying that even then, you know, 25 years ago, they're like, oh, the Internet's going to be terrible for kids. And and lo and behold, like we don't function as a civilization without the Internet. So that's true. I so mean, I think I chat, chat GPT could be the same where people are like, oh, this is going to be terrible, terrible for the education systems can be terrible for people. But in the end, it might be very beneficial because you're going to have this AI teaching kids how to do robotics, you know, at like 10 years old. It could be like just, before there was a calculator. I was literally just going to say that yeah. when your math teacher in high school would be like, you're not going to have a calculator in your pocket. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Au contraire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, but the only thing that I see is that I, from what I understand and what I've read a little bit that I've read and researched about it, it all runs on the same engine. Like everything eventually runs back, all roads lead back to open AI. I don't think there's another company or AI platform that, like the 52,000 tools that are out there, they all go into the same source. Right. So is that going to cause a convergence? Because, I mean, let's, it's a machine. You put the same thing in, you're probably going to get the same thing out at the end of the day. But is, is it learning? Kind of, is it learning though? Is it yes. getting smarter? The more inputs that people are putting into it yes. and it's spitting out, is it getting smarter? Yes. Yes. <sighs> yes. But it would also be optimizing toward a single solution. But isn't that the solution we're looking for? Could be. I don't know. It I mean, be. if you if you give it an input today, is it going to be give you the same output five years from now as it does today? Uh, my guess is no. It's going to give you a different output. It'll give you the most the best answer mixed between all of the outputs that it's given people with the same question over five years. What I was looking at is that there's different settings for it. And so you can change it such that basically it'll give you a different output every time. Like if you're like, give me a, you know, tagline for an ice cream shop and you change the setting. So every time you refresh it, it's going to give you something different. And if that's the case, that's wild. But at some point, there has to, you have to run out of potential like solutions. There's only so many words in the English language, or so many, you know, yeah. so many well, solutions I, for a problem like I that. I think the power of AI is what we all make of it, right? Like it's essentially to me, it's a tool to help strengthen what brain is ours and the strongest muscle that you know we can use. I think if it continues to learn as we continue to input things. What is the ultimate solution? There isn't one. It's just see how AI can fill the gap. And then like ultimately people still have to exist. Like it's not. Yeah. I, I think I see the use case for us. Like I'm bringing it right back to like content creation, digital marketing, blogging. Think about all like the link magnets and lead magnets that were like calculators and like little single page uh, tools. Dude. You could build that with AI like Pat did with his uh, with the video game there. Like I could go. I might even try it. Chat GPT. Build me a sales funnel calculator. Hmm. Boom. Here's the code. Now um, I can put it up on my website and I'm going to get a ton of backlinks. Or but, like done for you services will be like, I'll write you a, a blog post like on Fiverr or something. You yeah, can, oh, absolutely. And lazy marketer here when Adrian's doing his course and he's talking about, um, the listicles for Christmas, go give that a try because it spits out some really good listicles. All, all of those things as those magnets during the holidays, mm -hmm. any holiday you can think of, it's really good at giving you the top 10 and top 20. If you, because think about that content. I know you guys, like you guys are really good at copywriting and things like that, but I look at it from the standpoint of, I don't read any of that shit. And I don't think a lot of people do. So my garbage put out there by chat GPT one, it's not going to be crawled by Google, and it's going to serve the purpose where I got an idea. Here's 10 things to buy your wife on Valentine's Day. That's all I need it for, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. simple. 
really easy to just put easy inputs like that. 